Hope everybody's doing good. I'm just going to give it a second and tell your friends right now to tune in and uh, we're going to pray together, spend a couple moments together. I just wanted to come on and share with you uh, some heads up that the Holy Spirit has been giving me. So let's get started. Okay, God bless you this evening, this afternoon, this morning, whatever time it is that you happen to be watching. Uh, the Holy Spirit put some things in my heart and I just thought I would come on for a quick moment and share them. There was an article that came up. Well, actually, the Lord has been dealing with me about a lot of things and that, uh, you know, there are going to be a lot of signs that happen and they're going to try to change our minds and I mean the devil is messing with the all of these things you know I mean it just does not stop from uh, inventions to uh, things they're trying to do with our mind mind control and and many many terrible things and so the only way that we can stay safe is we know through the blood of Jesus amen and that's why we get out our oil wherever you happen to have your oil and use it and pray over yourself, your house, your day, every single day in Jesus' name. Okay, uh, bumped into it. several things happen and uh, you might notice I have a different color hair. That's sort of a work in progress. Um, I'm wanting more of a natural look. I've, I've been an entertainer most of my life except for in ministry and so that you know, uh, anytime you're on a platform or anything, you know, it's like you're in front of people. And I have just been wanting for a long time to just have more of a natural look that I actually was a brunette for, I've been, I think, every color under the planet. I think all of us girls have. And anyway, uh, so I have some highlights that I want to uh, get rid of that uh, my lady's going to help me do. So other than that, um, I just wanted a more natural look, so I'll get that aside. Okay, DNA Breakthrough Hints at Exotic Alien Life. I'm going to put this link, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put this up. Where is my dashboard? Here we go. And uh, to you, if you want to turn it on, you can see it. If not, it's no problem. But this, to me, is amazing because... Uh, it says in the Bible in 2 Timothy and 3, Perilous Times and Perilous Men. I probably should have used that for a title. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. Are we in the last days? Do you guys think we're in the last days? I do. I happen to think we are in the last days. In fact, uh, one of the sisters came on today and said that she didn't even know if Trump was going to be in for a couple of terms or what. And we are that close, I believe, to all hell breaking loose, to the Lord coming, uh, etc., etc. And so uh, it says in 2 Timothy 3, perilous times and perilous men. And this article today comes from uh, regarding NASA, N-A-S-A, -A, NASA funded research. This is NASA of the United States is funding this research aimed to explore the uh, theoretical foundations of life on other worlds by developing alternative ways to store and transmit genetic information. Interesting. Genetic. Do you notice it? They're messing with the genetics. They are trying so hard. I mean, CERN is over there doing their thing. And here we have these scientists that have synthesized a mo molecular, molecular system that hints at a possible alternative to DNA-based life. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is ridiculous. That is just... And, and look at that hideous picture. What could be, what could life 
on other worlds be like. See how they're trying to draw you in and intrigue you. And this, as a Christian, we know what's going on with all of these articles. You know, we know that greater is he that is in us. We know that we were formed in our mother's womb by God. We know that the fall of the angels, you know, that Satan, Lucifer, he was kicked out of heaven. And that fight happened, you know, before we were even on the earth. And so all of these things, the garden, you know, the fall of Adam and Eve in the garden, all of this stuff, we are not stupid. We're not ignorant and we're not stupid about these things. We know. And so when we see these articles and NASA funding a research aimed to explore the theoretical foundations of life and they are trying to transmit generic genetic information. Wow, they are trying, you know, the very first thing that popped out of my head was there goes NASA again. They're trying to play God. They're trying to play God. You know, if they can't be God, and tell everybody that you are God. You are a God. Haven't you heard that one? Everybody telling you you're a God. Oh no, you're not. You know, I'm one of God's children. You are God. Well, that's quite something different. If somebody tells you you are God. <laughs> Excuse me. There is only one God. Okay. Led by Stephen uh, Benner at the Foundation for Applied Molecular Evolution, there's that word, in Florida, the team has succeeded in fabricating a DNA alternative with eight nucleotides instead of four. I'm not a scientist. I don't even try to go there. All I know is they are playing God again. And that's a joke. They will never be God. <laughs> By carefully an analyzing the roles of shape, size, and structure, this works expands our understanding of the types of modules, molecules, excuse me, that might store information in extraterrestrial life on alien worlds. Oh, they have more than one. We just have the Earth. They have more than one world. <laughs> Hello, something's wrong. Something's wrong upstairs with these people. The work is an important step towards better understanding what types of life forms could potentially be out there. They just want it so bad. Do you notice that? They want that life to be out there so bad. So they're just putting it out there and spending all your tax dollars, my tax dollars, on this research that is funded by NASA. In the future, the team may also be able to synthesize other even more exotic genetic systems incorporating a border understanding of what is possible in our instrument design and mission concepts will result in a more inclusive excuse me I'm pulling my mic over here so you guys can hear me better I didn't realize I had it far away incorporating a broader understanding of what is possible in our instrument design and mission concepts will result in a more inclusive and therefore more effective search for life beyond earth said astral astrobiologist astrobiologist mary voitek i mean this just this is like what's going on in the world this is what's happening they are trying so hard to play god to be successful to create something to uh get our attention that there must be something intelligent out there I can tell you what's out there. I don't need to spend millions of dollars for that. Let's read 2 Timothy 3, Perilous Times and Perilous Men. And this is the truth, what we're going to listen to now. This is the truth. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. I believe we're in the last days. If we're in the last days, does that mean that we're in perilous times practically? Like if, if that's not 
loonier than anything trying to, what NASA is doing. That's that's something that they're just pulling at straws, spending all that money for what? But know this, I can tell you for what they're trying to dis. They are trying to prove the del that the Bible is not true. That's what they're trying to do by by spending all of the money for that. They're trying to disprove the Bible. That's why they are doing all of that, right? Like, what other reason could there be? <laughs> For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, Without self-control, that's temperance, that's one of the fruits of the nine fruits of the Spirit. Brutal, despisers of good. They just despise anything that's good. Do you notice that? Anything that's good, because it represents God. That's why they're despising it. Traitors, how many traitors do you know in the White House that are there? They are traitors of America. Headstrong. Oh, I know a lot of those people. Headstrong people. They're just like gung-ho. They're going with you or without you. They won't listen to anything else. They're just going. Haughty. How many haughty people do you know? I, I could mention a few. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. We all know those. Lovers of pleasure. Pleasure. We even see that in the church, don't we? We see people that are just in the church. They just want to get fed. They're little appetite for the Bible, but they're not hungry for the Word of God because they want to hurry up and get to Denny's before the Baptists do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too funny. Uh, nothing against Baptists, please. <laughs> and from such people, oh, having a form of godliness but denying its power. I forgot that one. And from such people turn away. For of this sort are those who creep into households and make captives of gullible women loaded down with sin. Sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. I know a lot of people with so many degrees it's crazy. Do they know God? No. So what good are all those degrees on the wall? Amen. I don't need to keep going on about that. Now, as Janes and Jambres resisted Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds disapproved concerning the faith, but they will progress no further, for their folly will be manifest to all as theirs also was. And don't we surely see that happening today? Don't we surely see it all falling to this side or that side? Do you notice how you could just walk in and you could just like see it's this way. Hey, that person's a good person. They love the Lord. That person is not. What's going on with them? It's becoming more and more obvious, don't you know? Don't you notice that? Uh, Chaco says, in India, India is behind this, I think. Face recognition is already heavy in China. Yeah, I know that, that face recognition is already going on. They've already got that. And it's only a matter of time that all of these things make their way to all of the countries. All of the countries. I mean, we are so close to the coming of the Lord. So close to the coming of the Lord. Dave says, I'm in the medical technology industry. I think chipping will be pushed with the idea of having your whole medical record, yes, I agree, accessible in case of emergency. It was in the original Obamacare drafts. Yeah, I know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's, it just doesn't stop, does it? It does not stop. And... Uh, I just thought that was absolutely 
insane that scientists have synthesized a molecule, molecular system that hints at a possible alternative to DNA based life and that thing looks so bad in fact uh, let me get a picture of that up I don't know if you guys saw that let me add that picture so you can see what that thing looks like have you seen that thing it's it's unbelievable okay let me get to my desktop here because that's where I put it hold on just a second in case you did not see that picture of that thing that they have created it's unbelievable have a look at this look at this thing isn't that lovely <laughs> wouldn't you like to know that one it reminds me of the song it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood a wonderful day in the neighbor would you be mine <laughs> are you kidding me I don't want to come out my front door and see that thing next door do you <laughs> I mean, it just does not stop. It just does not stop. Anyway, I say this, that God is making his way back for us very, very soon. That's what I have to say. When we see them saying that they have a DNA breakthrough that is hinting at exotic alien life, what does that sound like to you? I'll tell you what it sounds like to me. It sounds to me like they are trying to mix our DNA with their DNA. Whose DNA? Well, the exotic alien life DNA. Who else? Who is the exotic D uh, alien life? Let's go. Well, you know, let's keep going down the rabbit hole till we get to the root of this thing. What do they consider exotic alien life? Why, those are the intelligent beings out there, right? That's what they want you to believe. But you and I know what that exotic alien life is. Nothing more than fallen angels. That's what they are. It's what they've always been. There is, yeah, it's the, the only life they have is that they're a fallen angel. That's all. That's all. And... So I want to just tell you guys to uh, give you a heads up about what I just saw. I thought it was interesting. And uh, come on and pray with you guys. For a couple of minutes here, let's pray together. Father God, we lift up Shane. Shane, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Shane. Whatever is needed for Shane, we thank you, Lord that you are meeting every single need. Father for Chaco, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that you are taking everything out that's not of you, and everything that is you, you are protecting it in that household, Lord. For Brother James, fallen angels, he says, Amen fallen angels father for brother james we thank you that you are moving in his life with his family lord thank you for brother james that he's always loved you lord he's always serving you he's always telling somebody about you and ready to pray at at an instant bless brother james life in the name of jesus you're welcome shane says thank you Yes, uh, Dave says, many teachers say that this is what was going on in Genesis prior to the flood. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. It, it sort of makes sense when you think about it, doesn't it? That, um, you know, we know that there are uh, fossils. There are pictures in these caves many many years ago drawings that would resemble a UFO that would resemble an alien and so that's all I know I just know that I am sticking with the Lord 
I am sticking with the Lord and I am looking up. Are you looking up today? I am. In Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you as we close out for this time, Lord. Bless us, Father, with our day tomorrow. Give us traveling mercies for those that are traveling. In Jesus' name, Lord. And we thank you that you are keeping us in the midst of it all until you come. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. In Jesus' name. And to be continued. Amen. Whenever the Holy Spirit moves on me, that's when I'm going to come on. So please be sure that you hit that bell because I'm just really following the Lord's leading on this. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward because Jesus is coming soon. Amen. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Love you. This program is brought to you by the faithful ones that support Susan Waldron Ministries. Thank you. Be sure to send us your prayer request to prayer at susanwaldrop.org. Praise reports to praise at susanwaldrop.org. God bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you.